What is going on, guys? It is Golly, and I'm bringing you the fifth episode of my Dr. Golly series. And um, I think the last one went pretty well since I started off the new system of uh, you guys going to tinyurl.com slash drgolly and submitting the questions there. Now, this is kind of a dual com because I have my real-life friend Kyle here. Say hi, Kyle. Hey. Oh, wow, that's depressing. And um, he's going to help you guys with your questions also. So um, I decided to do a sniper gameplay because... As you know, I do suck at sniping on Black Ops. I am terrible with the L96. And um, I tried the PSG, and I actually did get a good gameplay with it. Now, it's uh, a pretty long team deathmatch, so I figured I really couldn't do just a single commentary on it. So I figured I'd do a Dr. Galdi, since um, I have a sh maybe 600 questions, and um, I picked the best out of them, so hopefully that can fill this time space. Now, um, the first question I got, which I thought was pretty funny, but I already read it once, so I really can't laugh at it again. I play a game called RuneScape 24-7, and now I have no friends. Also, everyone hates me and beats me up because I wore a RuneScape shirt with a dragon and a dragon slayer on at the school. I'm considering bringing my wand to school so I can ice barrage anyone who messes with me. Help? Um, first off, RuneScape isn't really that fun of a game. I mean, some of you guys it might have. Um, I was actually tempted to play it before I had Xbox Live in, like, 6th grade. But then, like, I, I just never really got into it because at the time I didn't have a really good computer. And um, I've, I've actually watched one of my friends play it on uh, TeamViewer, and he was like, it was like a 2D game, it's not even 3D or anything, and it's not even like fun, so if you were going to get addicted to something, at least like play World of Warcraft or something like the Chinese do, that'd maybe be fun for you. Um, I don't know, maybe try to make some new friends, maybe they don't know your past and you wearing like wands in the school or something, I don't even know. I can't really help you with that part. Alright, next question. Um, Kyle, I think this one's for you, right there. Dear Dr. Golly, my girlfriend has got me addicted to weed. I don't go to rehab because my parents will disown me, so I will be poor. What do I do? Thanks. Well, the THC in marijuana stays in your system for about 30 days, and that's just on average. So, I mean, there's not really a great way to get addicted unless you really love the feeling. But there's always other alternatives to it. You could chew gum or just spend more time away. <laughs> more time away from it <laughs> just find something else to do with your time if you really think it's that bad of a problem eat carrots man it's skinny all right um next question uh i can't stop eating chocolate but every time i try to not eat i get an urge to eat please help well i'm um, judging by the time you can't stop eating i'm guessing you're 300 pounds and morbidly obese so it's kind of like too late uh, like too late for you to stop so um i would Fuck, I would go on Nutrisystem or Jenny Craig or... What's that other weight loss system, Kyle? Weight Watchers. <laughs> weight Watchers. I heard it worked from Dan Marino, so it must work. Worked for my grandmother. Yeah, it worked, it worked <laughs> for his grandmother. She went from, like, 550 pounds to, like, 20. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy... <laughs> like, you, should, you should definitely try Weight Watchers. I think it might work for you. All right, dear Dr. Grawley. Nice spelling. Um, I am 12 years old, and I asked this girl out, but she asked... If I ever made out with a girl and I said no, is it gonna go right? Well, um, you're 12 years old. I'm guessing you're in sixth grade. I want to say probably that. So, um, some people at your age, I don't know if you have gotten that far with a girl. I mean, that's not really far. So, I don't know. I guess this can be your uh, your first kiss. Oh my god! That's a big deal, right? Take it. Take a picture of it and send it to me in a private message, dude. That's like, I'm no, just kidding. That's fucking creeper child porn. Screw that shit. All right, um. Mm, next question. Okay, Kyle, read that one. Dear Dr. Golly, me and my best friend were fighting over a girl, and she said she was going to date me and everything, and that she loved me. We made her choose, and she picked him and told him she never liked me or anything, and I promised her that it wasn't mad, and that we would still be friends, but honestly, I hate her, and I want her to die. <laughs> Any suggestions on what to do? Well... You can't promise someone that you're going to date them and, and you have to pick from two people, so there's plenty of other people out there and you're still probably in your teens or whatever, so you're young and have plenty of time to think about some other girl for the rest of your life. And just have fun with what you have for now and put a, never let a girl become something big between you and your best friend because that's not worth it. Dr. Phil speech in the building. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, dear Dr. Gale, you mentioned in your live commentary zombie video that you are going to attend cyber school. I'm an 8th grader going on ninth grade about to go to high school. And right now I just hate my middle school and I'm just fed up with teachers. Even though I'm going to be going to a new school, I will still hate teachers and lunches. And I'm really considering your cyber school alternative way. Do you think I should attend it or go? Sincerely, your loyal fan, you mad bro, TV. 
Alright, well, technically it's not my alternative way of schooling, but um, I have a few reasons I want to go to cyber school. Um, I do spend not a shitload of time on my computer, but I, I really feel comfortable around computers. Like, I know my way around them and everything. And just the note-taking way in my school is just completely retarded. And I don't feel like I should be there seven hours a day when we only do work for maybe two or three hours a day. Because if you went to my school, you would understand, like... But, I, I mean, it's not like I'm picked on or anything. Like, I have a lot of friends and stuff, but, um... Drama is crazy. Yeah, it's it's fucking drama and... Immaturity. Yeah, but well, it's, so. it's not really that, but, like, I'm just... To tell you the truth, I'm terrible in the mornings. Like, I've been late to school, I'd say, maybe 40 to 50 times this year. And, like, I just, I just had maybe, like, four ISSs. And I got, like, maybe 30 detentions for being late that many times. And, it's just not worth doing it again next year, and I, I just think I can do better on cyber school. So, like, I mean, if you guys, if you think you would do better in cyber school too, I mean, I guess that's an alternative way for you, but um, I'm just saying that's what I'm going to be doing next year. All right, Kyle, this, this one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, dear golly, my friend gets horny when I'm, he sees my pet turtle. What should he do? <laughs> Hide it in the closet. I mean, <laughs> you could tell your friend not to look at the turtle, or you could put it in a box and hide it under your bed or something. Turtle porn! Or, I mean, if he really needs, get him a stuffed pet turtle to <laughs> fuck when he gets at home or whatever. I mean, I really don't know why he's into a turtle, but, I mean, I guess if he wants to hide his something inside the <laughs> shell, then go ahead and do what he wants. All right, all right, this is the last question. There are these Mexicans in school, and they were always jumping me and asking me for my lunch money. Since I am bringing lunch, I can't pay them, so they beat me up even worse. It's getting to the point where I shit my pants when I walk in the front door. What should I do? Um, okay, you're shitting your pants when you walk in the building. Um, I, I don't really know if that's a really good situation for you anymore. I would maybe tell a guidance counselor if you... If there are multiple Mexicans, and um, I'm guessing since they are Mexican, they have pocket knives on them and ready to use. <laughs> so uh, I, w I would maybe tell the school counselor about that or something because uh, you say there are like um, multiple, so Mexicans usually travel in flocks of six. <laughs> so um, I would uh, I would tell the guidance counselor that these six particular Mexicans are picking on you and uh, try to get that resolved as quick as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Dr. Golly. And uh, remember to check out my channel for uh, future Dr. Gollies. I'm going to try to do like maybe one or uh, two of these every two weeks. So um, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.